So Bob was just talking about the reasons for the fort and the Bozeman Trail, um, established by uh, Bozeman, or at least advertised by John Bozeman. Of course, the trail itself is ancient and used by the indigenous people for many, many years. In fact, they have their own names for the trail, including the trail goes south or the trail goes north, depending on who you talk to. Um, and for that brief period of time, you had this real intense interaction between the indigenous people and then the immigrants seeking gold or seeking settlement. Um, so one of the uh, things our association is trying to do, the Fort Phil Kearney Bozeman Trail Association in support of the fort, is to seek uh, designation of the Bozeman Trail as a National Historic Trail. And we'd like to see it get that proper recognition. We'd like to see that uh, recognition bring more interest, give us more opportunities for education of all ages. So we're working towards that. Um, the process of national trail listening uh, is for an association or a group such as ours to approach our congressional delegation and ask for legislation that would undertake the study of a national trail and is it of national significance. And of course this trail is. You've got the events of the fort, you've got the events of the settlers coming in, but you've also got this short historic period when the Plains tribes uh, on a rare occasion formed an alliance and over a successful two to three year period were able to uh, talk the U.S. government into abandoning the forts and abandoning the trails. So after two or three years, the Fetterman battle, the wagon box battle, the Hayfield fight, and probably over 260 other encounters between the military, the tribes, um, and civilians. Um, at the signing of the Laramie Treaty in 68, they, uh, the U.S. government said, yes, we're going to abandon the forts and abandon the trails. So this was that rare instance where the tribes unified and had success under Red Cloud, uh, High Backbone for the Northern Cheyenne, Little Wolf, Doll Knife um, for the Northern Arapaho, uh, Cole, Eagle, uh, were just some of the prominent leaders um, for that short period of time. Um, having success. So um, people are supportive of our idea for a National Historic Trail listing. We've been asking for people to write letters of support for us uh, to their congressional delegation. Um, we think it's a good way to preserve history and we think it's a good way to improve our education here and increase our visitation at the fort so in support of sites like this. That's why you have, may have had 1,800 Indians here, but some of them were women and some of them were young men, horse holders, to hold the horses while they're up here doing this. Or they would have hobbled them or whatever. But the fight was mostly conducted on foot. Very little mounted action.